Well, welcome back. This is Crash Course number 40. I'm Sammy Chimona Hihi Aliyubi from the Eagle One Development Team. And uh, today we're going to go over adding a little bit of a trim and uh, using overlays when it comes to uh, making sure that your level is given that flavor that you've been looking for. Okay, I want to add some trim right here. I want to add it along this edge and uh, I also want to add some up here as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select these uh, edges and I want to make sure I just select these along the lines here. And uh, I also want to make sure I select this edge here as well. And I'm going to press V to create that loop cut. And then let's go ahead, uh, let's lower the grid size down for right now to 8. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to press Enter. Okay, uh, no, actually we don't even need to press Enter. It's going to uh, go ahead and just line that up for us. So I'm used to doing all of the uh, mirroring and uh, some of the other operations that do require it. But uh, that is not one of them. I'm going to select all of these faces. Uh, I'm going to press Alt-N, I'm going to separate it. I'm going to press F to uh, go ahead and have it face in the opposite direction right now. And then with a, a grid size of, uh, let's go ahead and let's go to 4. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press G. Okay, now what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and it's going to create that uh, thickness. And I'm going to delete the back faces. And now what I have here is some trim. Okay. And uh, I want to go ahead and I, I want to spice this up a little bit, though. I'm not done with this. I'm going to select all of this. Let's press Control h um, And uh, what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and I want to take the bottom part of this. I'm going to select one edge. I'm going to double click on the other. I'm going to go ahead and pull it down four units. And uh, let's see here. From the top, I'm going to select this. I'm going to pull down alt Double click, pull down shift. Let's extrude it up while we're doing this as well. Okay. And uh, what this is going to do is when we unhide everything, now what we have here is a little bit more uh, fancy trim okay, going all along the edge. All right, now, this can actually have uh, some nice uh, additions added to it. Okay. Well, if we also look on this side, you'll notice the same thing has been done. We've added some trim. And uh, we've given this a lip in the interior as well. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's go to the materials. And uh, let's select a material that's going to help us out. I want you to type in sign. And it's this sign right here. Garage signage composite. Okay, it's actually got a nice little stripe we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select this face. Press Control G. This is our fast texture tool. I'm going to go ahead and go smaller grid. I'm going to align it to this particular texture. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and select eight faces. Same thing, press Control G. Okay, we've used this before. Okay, same thing in the past. Uh, this fast texture tool is a great way for us to go ahead and uh, just take parts of what we know and go ahead and apply it right away. I'm just doing it every eight. Okay, this last one here is pretty long, so if I press Control G, notice it's going to stretch it out. That's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it, and then Control G on each face, just apply it, even it out. Let's take a step back. Okay. This right here looks a lot better than it used to before. And all I added was some trim. Okay, and if I really want, I want to make sure I come back here. Let me delete this face. You're not going to see this face. And for right now, uh, we're just going to assume this will continue along. Okay, but just to keep it nice and tidy, let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, over here on the back side, if I want to go ahead and apply that material, I can do so as well. Uh, but I don't want to spend too much time going through as we do have what we needed to get here done. Uh, over here, I have a bunker I am going to have to build out. So I'm just going to quickly carve it out. Let's change the grid size over to 8. Alt-N, let's separate it. Let's go ahead and press Control-D. Uh, and uh, we're going to create uh, some edges. Let's press F here. And uh, let's go ahead and press F here as well. I could have probably um, done this by switch, splicing it into quads a little bit differently, but I'm just going to now switch to the local grid and uh, change these. Give us a frame. Okay, there we go. Maybe make it a little bit thicker as these are bunker entrances. Perfect. Let's lower this so the player can step onto it. Lower these and then. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and switch back. I want to make sure I'm uh, in the uh, world grid. Hold down shift, extrude it, and then just for right now, I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Make sure it's vertical. Okay. All right, so we've carved this out. We're going to come back to this later. Don't worry. 
Uh, I'm just going to go ahead right now and I'm going to select all the faces, apply the hotspot quickly, and boom, now we have our bunker entrance. Uh, so all this is looking uh, pretty nice, but I do want to make sure that we add some overlays. So here, let's go to click overlays. Okay, now here's a nice thing that we can do to overlays. We can just quickly slap it on. Uh, I want to go ahead and uh, I'm going to choose one right now. Let's choose this big number four. I'm going to use this as an example. Let's come to our uh, little Among Us <clears throat> observatory. And uh, as I get this acid browser to not go crazy, I'm going to go ahead and just simply drag and drop this over. Okay, now what this does is it creates an overlay. Okay, now let me go ahead. Let me go into local grid. I can rotate it. I can move it. Press E. Okay, I can resize it. Okay, it kind of acts like an ortho box. Notice there's something projected. I want to change usually projection distance. Usually 32 is fine. You can even go down to 16. Okay, that'll adjust the box size, make it much more reasonable. I can change the color of this. Okay, uh, using the uh, color tool, color picker. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll keep it a grayish color. A projection mode, I can change this so that it only goes to world geometry models. So if I click models, it's not going to affect anything except models. Okay, we'll click world geometry. You can also pick a target, uh, that's for later. Uh, so this is a nice way for us to be able to get stuff on here. Uh, but we also have, if you look here, tons of stuff that we can use. Okay, now these are called decal sheets. Okay, now let's say I wanted to use something uh, that was a part of this. Okay, and so I'm coming down here. I see all of this. If I try to apply this decal sheet, it's going to throw this entire thing up here. And I, I don't, I don't want to use all of this. Let me resize it. Okay, I only want to use a small part of it. So what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to find the part that I want. Okay, let's say I only want this part right here. All right, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to cut it up. Okay, the way I'm going to cut it up is I'm going to press Shift X, okay, and uh, we're going to go into our cut mode, and I'm going to make this cut. Let me go ahead and lower the grid. Okay, let me cut that here. Okay, and then you'll notice now I can select the faces and I can cut it even further. So I'm just going to cut, cut. Okay, I'm pressing Shift X to cut. You can do any way of cutting if you want. I want this guy. Okay, this is the only one that I want. The rest of them. Okay, uh, are, are, are something that I don't want at all. So I'm going to press Alt N. I'm going to extract this. Press 5. Okay, now I can move this around. Look, it's its own individual sensual face. Okay, but it becomes impossible. If I wanted to put this up against the wall, okay, I, I can't quite do that. Okay, now the rest of these, okay, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to delete them. Select them and press delete. I don't want them anymore. So here's what I can do, okay? I, I can make this, no matter what I do, if I make this big, look what it's gonna, it's gonna bring the sheet back. So I need to right click selected meshes, convert this to an overlay. Now I can go ahead and expand just this, okay? Bingo, so I just want that. Okay, I'll just once again, let me change the range. I like it usually down to 32, okay, yeah, 16, like I said, it's up to you. And uh, we'll go ahead and keep this overlay here. All right, so now this overlay, uh, you can rotate it, Okay, make sure the projection range is working. If that projection range isn't there, it's not going to work. Uh, this allows you to add so much detail and being able to customize overlays and decals as well as adding this quick trim is really essential for you uh, to building worlds that are customized to your liking. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video tutorial. We'll see you guys with our next crash course.